Welcome guys to the Crochet Beads channel. In this video tutorial I am going to demonstrate you how, how I was crocheting this beautiful diamond hat. I do really like uh, the crown of this hat, it looks like flower for me. Uh, you can actually cover it with a pom-pom yarn or fur. I am personally going to wear this hat without pom-pom, but if you want, if you like, please, you're welcome to add it. Uh, the yarn uh, that I was using for this hat, I was using um, pretty old yarn, vintage yarn, you don't need to look for it, uh, just to know it is DK yarn and I was using 100% uh, percent acrylic yarn of course for if you're going to wear it at winter and you can wear because this hat is really super warm uh, you would better use a um, wool blend yarn uh, the hook uh, I was using 4.5 millimeters or any other hook that is corresponded to the yarn you are going to use here is the pom-pom as I said, you can look how the hat is looking with pom-pom. Not bad, right? Uh, you can also make yarn pom-pom if you want. Uh, I will leave the link how to make yarn pom-pom using a pom-pom maker. So if you want to crochet this hat with me, let's get started. So we are going to start with a magic knot or slip knot and chain 12. Chain any other even number. The width of my ribbon will be 5.5 centimeters. Into the second chain from the hook, one, two, make a slip stitch. Then into the next chain make a half double crochet. Then again into the next chain slip stitch. Then again half double crochet. Then again slip stitch. And like this go on alternating, slip stitch, half double crochet, slip stitch, half double crochet. At the end, the last stitch will be always a slip stitch. Chain one and turn. Now we are going to work through back loops only. Again, into the second stitch, make a slip stitch. Then half double crochet, make a yarn over and make a half double crochet through the back loop. Again, into the next stitch, slip stitch through the back loop and into the next stitch, half double crochet through the back loop again. Slip stitch, half double crochet through the back loop always. Slip stitch, half double crochet, slip stitch, half double crochet, and the last one again. You see the stitch is hiding, so always pay that pay attention. You have to finish with a slip stitch. Chain one and turn. 
Now we are going to repeat again the second row. Slip stitch through the back loop, then one half double crochet. Then again, slip stitch and one half double crochet through the back loop, always through the back loop. Slip stitch, half double crochet. Slip stitch, half double crochet, and the last one you see again it's hiding through the back loop, make a slip stitch. And you see already our beautiful ribbon. Chain one, turn, and go on repeating until desired length. Uh, for the hat 55-56 cm, I'm going to make ribbon without stretching it. 32-33 uh, centimeters. Okay, let's measure the ribbon. So the width, as I said, five and uh, five and a half centimeters, and the length. 42 and a half, 43 centimeters. So this hat will fit 55, 56 centimeters hat, 54 as well. Now join two edges. Make a chain one. And let's join. Again, through the back loop on the side that is nearest to you and through the chain on the other side, make a slip stitch. Pick up the back loop, then pick up the chain and pull the yarn through all three loops on your hook. One, two, three. Again, insert through the back loop, through the next chain, yarn over and pull three all loops on your hook. So in total, 11 stitches. Pull through, pull through, pull through. And the last one again, it's hiding. Pick up the back loop and the last stitch here. Pull through. Okay, you need to turn now the ribbon right side out. So that's how the seam will look. Make a chain one. And we are going to start crocheting in rounds. For this, 
make a single crochet here into the braid, then single crochet between braids, then one more single crochet into the next braid and two single crochet in between after. And repeat again, one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet and two single crochet. So let me show you. One single crochet, then between braids, one single crochet, then inside the braid again, and between braids, two single crochet. So now we have five single crochet as you see. Let's repeat one single crochet into the into the braid, in, into the center, then between braids, the second one, the third one, again into the braid, and between here two single crochet. So the final number has to be divisible by five. Let's do it again. Single crochet here, single crochet here, one single crochet, then one more single crochet here, and between two single crochet. Let me do it one more time. One single crochet, then in between one single crochet, one single crochet, and in between two single crochet. Like this, go on till the end, till the seam. As you may see, I have finished doing two single crochet here at this point. Now let's join the first stitch and the last one, making slip stitch. Chain two, yarn over, insert the hook into the same chain and pull up a loop. You have, you see, three loops now on your hook. Now count two stitches and insert into the third one. Make a yarn over and pull up a loop again. Now you have five stitches and pull through five, all five loops on the hook. Make a chain one and now make two double crochet into these two loops that you skipped but from the back like this inserting your hook from the front to back but behind the little kind of triangles that we've just done so one single crochet make a yarn over and the second stitch this one you see it here it look it looks like Post double crochet, post back double crochet. Okay, that's what we have. Now, the chain that the third one chain that you were working while you were skipping two, make a yarn over and insert the hook again into this chain and draw up a loop. Then again, count two and into the third one yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through all five loops on the hook and chain one. Now again yarn over and two double crochet into those two st stitches that you skipped. And the second one. I'm sorry if I'm doing it too fast, please there is a, a playback speed button in the left corner. Make a yarn over, insert the hook and draw up a loop again. 
count two stitches, yarn over and draw up a loop again. And when you have five loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all five loops and chain five. Again, yarn over and two double crochet in between here. One and the second one. And that's how it looks. Yarn over and again insert the hook and draw up a loop. Then count two stitches and make a yarn over again and draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all five loops. Let's do it again. Yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, skip to draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through all five loops and chain one. Now two double crochet, one, and the second one. So that's what you have now. Go on repeating till the end. At the end, let me show you. So these are chain two that we did at the beginning. So as usually, yarn over, insert the hook, draw up a loop. Skip next two stitches and insert the hook into the first stitch where chain two is coming from. So you're going to insert the hook the second time here and pull through all five loops, chain one, and do not forget about two double crochet. One, two. So we have done the first round and we go on doing right away. So this is our chain two and we are going to insert the hook again into the same first stitch that we just Insert before, yarn over, insert the hook, draw up a loop, make a yarn over again and insert the hook into the chain one of the previous round. It is a small, like tiny chain, so you insert the hook here. Now you don't count two stitches, you don't skip two stitches because you're going to have three stitches between in between now chain one and make two double crochet around those chain two that we did at the beginning of the previous round like a back post double crochet One, two. This is only at the beginning to find the chain two yarn over, don't forget, and make second double crochet. Now, as before, yarn over and insert the hook into the same tiny chain so yarn over so 
So the tiny chain, chain one from the previous round, again yarn over. Now you skip three, as I said, one, two, three, and again you see this tiny chain one of the previous round. So yarn over and draw up a loop through this chain. Yarn over, draw up a loop. Again, five loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through. Chain one again. So this one, chain one. Behind you, you have already three stitches, but we are going to continue doing only two double crochet. Whether you will do it through the second and the third stitch, whether you will do it through the first and the second one, up to you, just as you feel comfortable. I am doing usually through the first and second, so up to you. Now again, yarn over, insert the hook again in this point into the chain that you have worked before, then skip three stitches, or you don't need to count, you see that tiny chain from the previous round, draw up a loop through, through this chain, yarn over and pull through all five loops, and chain one. Again, make two double crochet, So here I would like to show you that I'm doing through the second and the third. But I like also to do it through the first and the second. So there will be no difference if you do it once through the first and the second and once through the second and the third. But it is better if you stick to the one pattern. Yarn over, again insert the hook into the chain, draw up a loop, yarn over, count three, skip three next three stitches, and draw up a loop again, and pull through all five loops, and make a chain one. Now make two double crochet, one, and the second one. So I guess it is clear here. Like this go on, you see already those cute diamonds. Go on and finish this round. And at the end I will show you how we are going to start the third one. So as you see the seam and the last triangle and this round. So again insert the hook into the chain one. There will be no beginning and end of the round. You just look at the at the seam and understand where you are two double crochet Okay. And one more. And now at this point we are going to start crocheting this the third round. So just skip next three stitches, find the chain of the previous round 
and draw up a loop through this chain. Like this, we are knitting in spiral. There is no slip stitch join, so we're slowly moving from one round to another one. Make two double crochet. Yarn, yarn over, let's do one more time. Again, insert the hook into the same chain that you you have just worked. Yarn over, skip next three st stitches. Draw up a loop and draw through all five loops. Don't forget about chain one. So like this, you go on, crocheting, in spiral, as I said, no join until the hat reaches desired length. Here I am, guys, and that's what I have. Let's measure it. And my hat now is 20 and a half centimeters, so this is the perfect length. So, and I have finished just looking orientation at the seam. I have finished above my seam. So, let's shape, start shaping the crown. We are going to do the same. Yarn over, draw up a loop through the chain, then skip next three stitches, draw up a loop. Yarn over and draw up through all five loops. Chain one. And now we are going to make a double crochet two together or double crochet decrease. So we are going to make the first double crochet, but do not complete it. Pull through only two and leave two loops on your hook. Then start making the second double crochet and the same, do not complete it, pull through only first two loops and when you have three loops, pull, through, pull the yarn through all three loops on your hook. So we did a double crochet decrease or double crochet two together. So now we are going to repeat everything what we have just done. So pull through all five loops, chain one, and again double crochet two together. Pull through two, then again. Pull through two. And now, when you have three loops, pull through all three loops. And let's do it one more time. Through the chain. Draw up. Chain one. And double crochet decrease. Okay, like this, go on till the end. The second round of decreases. We are going, now we have, as you see, already two loops between two chains. Insert the hook into the chain, draw up a loop, again yarn over. Skip next two stitches, again draw up a loop through the chain, 
one of the previous round. And now make chain one and do not make any double crochet. Just start repeating again. Draw up a loop through the first chain, then skip next two stitches, draw up a loop through the next chain, pull through all five loops and chain one. And repeat again. And again into the same chain, yarn over this tiny chain through all five loops and chain one. In this way, go on crocheting till the end. The last round of decreases, as you see, we have just a straight line here we are going to make half double crochet in each space so this one is triangle we are not going to insert the hook here where we were usually doing the double crochet we are going to insert the hook only before and after the triangle so we make here chain one yarn over and into this first space before the triangle and after the triangle and after the second after the third and so on we're going to make half double crochet in each space Uh, double crochet then another half double crochet then another half double crochet then another half double crochet and so on Another half double crochet. Here. Then here. Here and so on. I will see you at the end. So I'm at the end. Now chain one and cut the yarn, leaving at least 15 centimeters tail. I'm going to use a yarn needle, you can also use a tapestry needle, thread the tail and I'm going to close the top in this way, insert the hook back and forth in each stitch, back and forth, again back Force back, force back, force. And go on. Back, force, back, force, back, 
force and pull up the tail just a second here again force back force back force back and a little bit more that's it just wait one more two more stitches so that's it now pull the tail to close the top now pull the yarn to the wrong side through the center, through the center and now to close the top try to pull the tail again through the same through the same stitches, remaining stitches and pull the tail through the stitches and pull the tail each time pull the tail pull the tail Pull the tail. A little bit more. As many times as, as you want, but be careful not to break the yarn when you pull. especially if you are using natural yarn like wool okay now let's make a knot and you can pull a little bit more so that's it, you can cut the yarn and that's what we have now. Weave in ends if you have tails at the beginning, I have just a short tail. So that's how the crown looks. So that's basically it. Don't forget to wash your hat and block it as you want. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial with me. I hope you enjoyed this uh, crochet hat. You can decorate it now with pom pom if you want. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video. It's very important if you want to watch more videos like this. It's very important if you leave comments. Uh, and uh, whenever, if you have questions, I will be happy to answer them as well. Thank you again for watching me today and I hope to see you soon in my next video tutorials. 
Bye.